Charles and Ray Eames were a pair of world-renowned designers whose works continue to inspire and influence designers, architects, and artists alike. Born in the early 1900s, their childhood and upbringing were formed by their interest in the creative arts. Childhood and Early Years Charles Ormond Eames Jr. was born in St. Louis in 1907. His father worked in railway security and was a keen amateur photographer. Charles had one elder sibling, a sister called Adele. Charles attended Yeatman High School and developed an early interest in architecture and photography. He later studied architecture at the Sam Fox School of Design and Visual Arts at Washington University in St. Louis on architecture scholarship. He left the university after two years of study. There are claims that he was dismissed for his interest in Frank Lloyd Wright and his work and interest in modern architects in general. The university reportedly dropped him because of his views were too modern. While at Washington University, he met his first wife, Catherine Warman, whom he married in 1929. They had a daughter one year later, Lucia Dewey Eames. Charles and Catherine were married for more than a decade, and then their divorce was finalized in early 1941. Bernice Alexandria Kaiser, or Ray Eames, was born in Sacramento, California in 1912, and she grew up in a creative and supportive family. She had an older brother named Maurice. From a young age, Ray showed a strong interest in the arts and crafts, which were fostered by her parents. Her father was a manager at the Empress Theater in Sacramento, a vaudeville theater, and her mother was a housewife. Together, they encouraged Ray's artistic pursuits. She attended the May Friend Bennett School for Girls in Millbrook, New York, where she studied painting, drawing, and sculpture. After completing her high school education, Ray attended the Cranbrook Academy of Arts in Michigan, where she studied under an impressionist Hans Hoffman. It was at Cranbrook that Ray met her future husband, Charles Eames. She was a student, and he was an instructor at the academy. They quickly fell in love and began working on design projects together. Their early years working together were characterized by experimentation and collaboration. They often worked on projects that combined Charles's knowledge of architecture and Ray's skills in painting and graphic design. Charles and Ray got married shortly after Charles was divorced from Catherine Warman. Furniture and Architecture The Eames are best known for their furniture design, which are innovative, functional, and stylish. Their furniture is still highly sought after today and have become icons of modern design, despite the fact that Charles Eames is quoted saying, quote, we don't do art, we solve problems." Unquote. One of their most famous furniture designs is the Eames Lounge Chair in Ottoman. They are officially titled Eames Lounge 670 and Ottoman 671. The chair designed in 1956 is still considered an icon of modern design. The chair features a molded plywood frame and cushions made of leather. It is comfortable, stylish, and functional. The chair debuted on national television together with Ray and Charles the same year it was designed on the NBC show Home. This TV appearance pushed both the chair and the couple to stardom. It is said that Charles and Ray wanted their chair to, quote, have the feeling of a well-used baseball mitt, unquote, something they seem to have accomplished in style. Another important piece of furniture designed by Ray and Charles is the Eames Shell Chair, a fiberglass chair that came on the market in 1950. 
The chair was designed for the international competition for low-cost furniture design. This was a competition sponsored by the Museum of Modern Art. It was motivated by the urgent need in the post-war period for low-cost housing and furniture designs that were adaptable to small housing units. One of their quotes related to the philosophy behind their furniture making was, quote, getting the most of the best and greatest number of people for the least, unquote. This was especially true for the shell chair. The chair was offered in a variety of colors and bases, such as the Eiffel Tower metal base, a wooden base, and a rocker base. The plastic fiberglass armchair is one of the most famous designs of Charles and Ray Eames and is still popular today. Perhaps a bit more unknown for most people is the organic chair, designed by Charles Eames and Aero Saranan in 1940. They were friends from the Cranbrook Academy of Art. They created this chair as part of their entry for organic design in home furnishings a competition organized by the Museum of Modern Art in New York. This is a small reading chair that offers superb comfort thanks to its comfortably upholstered, biomorphically shaped seat shell. The Eames were also involved in architecture. They designed a number of buildings, including Eames House, also known as Case Study House No. 8 which is also known as their own home and studio in Pacific Palisades, California. The house was designed to be simple and functional, with an open floor plan and lots of natural light. It was a landmark in the development of modern architecture. In addition to their furniture and architectural designs, the Eames were also involved in industrial design. They created a number of products, including toys, and even a medical splint for the U.S. Navy. Later Years and Legacy In the later years of their lives, Charles and Ray continued to work together on a variety of projects, including films and expositions. They also traveled extensively and gave lectures on design around the world. They created the landmark multimedia installation Glimpses of the USA, which was part of the American National Exposition in Moscow in 1959. The installation showcased American culture and innovation and was an enormous success. They were later commissioned to create several exhibits for IBM, including the famous Mathematica exhibit which showcased the beauty and mathematics through interactive displays and exhibits. Despite their success, the Eames remained humble and dedicated to their work. They believed that design should be accessible to everyone and should improve the quality of life. They were committed to creating designs that were both functional and beautiful, and their work has had a lasting impact on the world of design. Unfortunately, in the late 1970s, Charles began to experience health problems, and he passed away in 1978 at the age of 71. Ray continued to work on design projects for several years after Charles' death, and she also oversaw the production of many of their designs, including the Eames lounge chair. Ray passed away at the age of 76 on August 21st 1988, 10 years to the day after Charles. Despite their passing, the Eames' legacy lives on. Their designs continue to be produced and sold, and their impact to the world of design is still felt today. The Eames House, their landmark home in Pacific Palisades, California, is now a museum and open to the public. The Eames Foundation, which manages the house, also sponsors programs and events that promote design, education, and innovation. In recent years, the Eames have also become the subject of several documentaries, including Eames, the Architect and Painter, which explores their life and work, and The Power of Ten, 
which explores the scale of the universe and was inspired by one of the Eames's films. The Eameses left behind a rich and enduring legacy. Their furniture designs are highly sought after and continue to be produced and sold by Herman Miller and Vitra, the furniture companies that produce many of their iconic designs. The Eames lounge chair in particular has become an icon of modern design and has been found in homes and museums around the world. Their architecture and industrial designs have also had a lasting impact on the current contemporary design scene. In conclusion, Charles and Ray Eames were unique, talented, and innovative design duo who left a lasting impact on the world of design with their pioneering creations. Their work was characterized by experimentation, collaboration, and a commitment to creating functional and stylish designs. They believe that design should be accessible to everyone, and their work has helped make design more democratic and inclusive. They were able to combine their individual skills and passions to create unique and influential body of work. Their commitment to creating functional, beautiful, and accessible designs remains an inspiration to designers, architects, and artists around the world, as their work continues to be celebrated and studied today.